Yo, what up squad? We're back on the channel here. Huge surprise. It's Christmas Eve. All right, it's late right now. I'm pretty tired, but I couldn't wait till another day. I had to do this, okay? Everybody in the group, I wanted to show you an early stocking stuffer that I received for Christmas, all right? Super excited about this. This is the 2022 UFC Trading Card Select Prism Parallels Panini Box, okay? So we have 24 cards in here. Four cards per pack, six packs per box. I'm kind of screwing that up. But anyways, I just want to show you guys what I got. And now we're about to rip into these. Let me get into them. Sorry. We're about to rip into these and we're going to find out which rare card that I got. So stick around. All right, squad. We're ripping into the first pack. Let's see what rare cards we received. I'm about to end up ripping the actual card itself. All right, I'm going to try to do this quick. I know you guys don't want any uh, no fluff material. Who did we get first? Matulius Nikolaya. I don't really know about him. Don't know much about him. It's a blue one. He is a UFC. Uh, I'm not sure about that one. All right, let's see who else we got. We got Angela Hill, women's straw weight. I'm in these blue cards. Not really sure what these blue cards are about. Who else did we get? Okay, sweet card. We got middleweight, Derek Brunson. Perennial middleweight title challenger. And now we have, ooh, legend card, holographic Cheeto Ortiz, former UFC light heavyweight. I think Tito was champion. Yeah, he was champion. That's a pretty sweet card. All right, that was the first pack right there. And, all right, on to pack number two, squad. Let's see what we got. Let's see which rare cards we pick up. Vivian Arahu. I'm not really sure who she is. She's a women's flyweight. Ooh! Here we go. Shavkat Rachmanov. He's fighting, I think he's fighting in February. He's going to be taking on, quick, quick, who's he fighting? Who's he fighting? Who's he fighting? Jeff Neal in a main event. This guy is probably going to be a future champ. He might even fight for the belt in 2023, if not by early 2024. Okay, another top lightweight division, Rafael Faziv. Just beat RDA in a match matchup. Matt Chanel. And then we have Vivian. Nope, yeah, it's the same thing. Okay, that's that pack. We're keeping this moving. This is no fluff material. We're getting right to it. Breaking out these cards and showing them. UFC heavyweight, Tom Aspinall. Let's go. Nice card. Ooh, RDA, Rafael Dos Anjos. Shamil Gamzatov. I'm not really sure about him. He's a light heavyweight. Ooh, some sort of holographic Marvin Vittori. UFC middleweight, 190 significant strikes landed. What fight was that? I don't know. It's one of his fights where he landed a lot of shots. And then we got the Tom Aspinall. So these packs seem to be fire, but I am a novice. So I'm not really sure what they mean, these different types. But so far, it looks like they are some fire cards. Let's get into this next pack. And we have a Panini Kianzat. I do not know who she is. A woman's bantamweight. Ooh, Darren Till. He's struggling a lot as of late, but still one of my favorite fighters. Another select Tom Aspinall. Okay, so we got two Tom Aspinalls. And now we have a holographic Vulcan Odizamir, a UFC light heavyweight top 10 fighter. And then that's it. That's it for that one. Two more. Let's do this. Let's do this. Who'd we get? Okay. Former UFC heavyweight champion Stipe Miacic. Then we have Mavzar Evloev. Not sure about him. He is a UFC featherweight. We have Grant Dawson, a lightweight. We have another Tito Ortiz card. Okay, that's cool. A couple legend cards. Last one. Let's see if this is one of those holographic, rare autographed ones. Hopefully. Mackenzie Dern, okay, Jamal Hill, he'll be fighting in the main event at Rio, uh, UFC Rio, Marab Davilashvili, and we have another Vulcan, Uzumir, so we've got a couple of doubles here, all right, that's it, guys, that is all we got, thanks for watching, squad, just added to the collection, 
couple cool ones. I think my favorite one was this cool Marvin Vittori card. But yeah, that's it, everybody. No, the Shaft Cat Rachmanov. That's my favorite card because I'm a big fan of his. All right, there we go. Adding to the collection. Stay tuned. We're going to have to go back to Walmart to get some more. All right, we'll see you later.